hey, what's up? I didn't see you there. I was just doing normal college kid things like laundry. Oh, am I kidding? No college kid does laundry. Pfft, it smells like ass around here. Anyway, welcome to Ratchet Kid Relates for another video. R-A-T-C-H-E-T. -E you already know it's me. I'm Ratchet. Woo woo. I'm Cade. Welcome to my humble dorm. I always see these girls doing their dorm tours and stuff, and I'm like, bitch, where the boys? Where the boys at? So I'm here to do a boy dorm tour. Now, I will admit, boys usually do have a way more boring or boringer dorm, but that don't mean it's still not interesting. So welcome to my humble dorm. Here's my roommate. Yeah, he, he moved out. Okay. So let's get right to it, and welcome to my humble dorm. Welcome to my humble home. She's so pretty. Oh my god. Stop your stinky ass. And then we get to my roommate. <laughs> oh wait, he doesn't exist. I forgot. So yeah, this is my roommate's side of the room. But he left me, so I live alone now. Isn't she a beaut? Now I know a lot of people's biggest fear when coming to college is communal bathrooms. That word haunts people. That word, literally all summer, I was like so scared. But let me just tell you guys, first of all, I'm gonna give you a tour of my communal bathroom. And second of all, it is not that bad at all, especially coming from a germaphobe who is thinking that like, I can't share a toilet with these nasty ass people. I can't share a shower with these nasty ass people. But oh my God, let me just tell you, especially if you're coming to University of Illinois, they clean it daily, they keep it really nicely stocked with soap and toilet paper and all that stuff. And it's actually not that bad because if you think about it, you're only sharing it with like 10 rooms. And what are the chances that all 20 people are showering at the exact same time and shitting at the exact same time? That's never happened. I usually, literally every time I take a shower, I'm alone. So don't be worried. I'm here to give you the inside scoop. Okay. Okay. Calm down. Jeez. Oh my God. Okay, some of these dorm tours are all like, I have the most beautiful marble bathroom in my own mirror, my own toilet. Bitch, what college you going to? Because I got that communal bathroom, so I'm here to show you it. It's nasty. Uh. Look at this, we got a janky ass fan. We got two urinals. Oh honey, this is about to fall off. Oh hell no. Uh -uh. These sinks that are probably older than your grandpa, these knobs, literally, like, who uses knobs? Where's that, like, you know, hand sensor? They don't even have paper towels, which I think is great, I guess, because save the environment, save the turtles, we get our world dryer. We have this janky-ass fan and caution sign that's always here, even though the floor is not wet, so I really don't understand it. That probably is more mold. Literally, there's nothing, no air coming out. Like, it's so moldy, nothing comes out. Like, it's not even blowing. So this is our dish sink, even though people always just clog the drain with ramen noodles because college life, but this is the sink I use every morning because my shower caddy only fits here. It doesn't fit on that thingy. We only have two urinals, and what's weird about my college is even the girls' bathrooms have urinals. I don't know why. We have these really cute little notes just to remind us to be nice. We have these toilets that are constantly being shit in. There's always someone farting, and it sounds probably like a truck driver or like humans should not even have that. Look at this very professional official note that says don't throw toilet paper on the floor. Wow, wow, wow. It is so cute. Look at this. Yep, I usually sit on this toilet right here, the middle one, because you know, you don't want that wall nasty, you don't want that wall nasty, but you want this, this middle one. 
they do clean the bathrooms basically every day and restock the toilet paper and the soap constantly, which I'm so happy about. So props to them, but like communal bathroom, and eh, I'd rather have my own. Oh yeah, so here's our little shower area. Um, it's basically like prison, not gonna lie. It's kinda nasty if you look there and the drain just like flows through this little thing that people probably pee in. Yeah, let's not get into that. Let's just say the first night I dropped my toothbrush in here and I almost burned the place down and killed myself. <laughs> so I always use this shower, which is the middle shower. Always, I will literally wait for it. It's the only one that I will use. And um, something literally turned off the lights on me once because I shower at four in the morning every night. So catch me out here when no one's in here because I don't like showering with other people. So I wait to shower till like two in the morning, three in the morning, four in the morning. Call me crazy, but yeah, I still wake up at my 10 a.m. and I still make it on time. <laughs> I'm actually surprised no one has walked in yet. There's usually someone shitting or peeing here like every five seconds. But looks like that's it for this nasty tour. Oh yeah, we have this weird window that doesn't even work, but I don't know what the point of it is. So let's go back to my actual dorm, the cute part. Here we have this cute little name tag that they made for me on move-in day. It is so cute. My dorm is called Snyder, and this is what it looks like, so there's my name on it, 378. If you get this room at U of I, literally, you're blessed, okay? Because you are right next to the stairs that are right next to the laundry room, you're right next to the trash and recycling, you're right next to the coldest drinking fountain in the building, and you're right next to the bathroom. It is the best, it's bomb, I'm loving it. What sucks though is that we have to come here. Um, okay, that barely works. And put our trash in here and our recycling in here, which most people don't. So every night I come here and I actually sort through the trash and recycling, just putting the cans in there and the boxes in there because college kids are dumb AF and I'm an environmental freak. Cute little board. This is my RA. He's useless. So if we make it over to my closet, you can see that there's plenty of room for shoes. I have a bunch of shoes down there, backpacks, suitcases, laundry bin. There's plenty of room for all your clothes. Now, I know I'm a boy, so you think I have less clothes, but I actually was able to fit all my summer and all my winter clothes. Um, I have a drawer for all my sweatshirts and for all my pants and jeans right over here. And it's actually really nicely sized. Like, you could probably fit a dead body in here if you want, you know. And yeah, I'm actually, I was really impressed with the size. And there's a huge, there's a huge area up here to store your stuff. I got some snacks, some Kleenex. It goes way far back. Like, I fit my whole suitcase back there. And there's also these really handy hooks because look, I have my robe, my jean jacket, my sweat, my jacket, jacket, my raincoat, and my winter coat usually goes here, but it's over there on my chair. So I'm really impressed and I don't think you should be too worried, but if you think you have a lot of clothes, I would just take your summer clothes for the first couple weeks and then go home and get the rest for winter or whatever. But bring a winter jacket and a couple coats no matter what because it's gonna get colder before you think it is, okay? Especially if you're coming to Illinois. Luckily, I brought everything, so we good. So if we move on to the closet, as you can see, like I just said, it is beautifully spaced. I even have this giant ass box. <laughs> oh, hell no. This giant ass box of... So my mom and her mom group of friends are the biggest moms in the mom world. So as you can expect, they sent me a Halloween care package. Blue, love your mommy, how cheesy. With snacks galore. We got chips, we got cookies, we got Belvedas, my favorite. We got candy. And you know what, I don't even need snacks in my room, so feel free to come over and get some. This is more for my, more for my company who comes over. But that was still really nice, and she also sent me these like really cute Halloween window clings that were on there for so long, but I had to take them off because Halloween's over, boo -hoo. I'll put them back in. I was not expecting my mom to send me anything because I literally live three hours away and see them all the time. But she was convinced by her mom friends because you know white moms and they're like crappy DIYs. So I'm eating good in the neighborhood. So next we have bedding. I gotta thank Bed Bath & Beyond for this beautiful spread. Now being a boy, there's always that fear like, oh, I can't be too girly, you can't be too this, too that, because you don't want your roommate to judge you, you don't want people to judge you. But I thought this was a really nice, simplistic design. 
and I go to University of Illinois at Urbana Champagne, so I love the champagne color in it. If you can see that beautiful champagne color. It came with this cute little blanket, it came with this really fluffy pillow, it came with this decorative double-sided pillow, which I love. And I got this on Black Friday three years ago and never used it, and I was like, oh my god, it matches perfectly in yellow is my favorite color, so of course I had to incorporate yellow and gray. So basically I decided that yellow and gray are my colors for the room, so that's what I went with. And most guys just do plaid or like literally plain color, so I wanted to spice it up a little bit, and my options were very limited because I'm... I shop really late. <sighs> Literally seeing anyone get on this is like impossible because, but I love it. I just jump on it, I don't even use the step. Literally seeing my mom trying to get on this was the funniest thing ever because she was like a salmon, like, I can't get on, I can't get on. But um, what I love about this is having your own bed, you can do whatever you want. You can jump on it, you can have your own fun, you can literally sprawl yourself out, you can do anything in the world because there's no rules, it's just your own rules. And I'm probably the only boy in the entire university out of like 40,000 people that makes their bed every morning because Bitch, it's aesthetically pleasing, okay? Stop judging me. I like it like this. So yes, I do make my bed every morning, but that's completely optional. Trust me, basically everyone I know, you just walk in and their blankets are in like a ball. It's fine, no one even comes over anyway. This is just the um, OCD in me coming out, liking it to be perfect and fixed. So thanks Bed Bath & Beyond, hashtag sponsor me please. If you're wondering what I mean by no one can get on my bed, I will give you an example of what most people do. My friends, my mom, shorter people, they all go like this. <sighs> they literally can't jump, because like, look, if you just try and get up on it, it's like literally impossible and you look like a fish. So you gotta like, go to the other side of the room, and you gotta, <sighs> and try not to hit your head, because I've almost got a concussion way too many times. That's a pro tip. Come over here. They give you these super handy two little shelves that are perfect for storing everything. Yes, it looks a little, little messy, but like no matter what you do, it's gonna look messy to be honest. So you just gotta put your stuff here and forget about it. You got your essentials, don't forget paper towels, wipes, cleaner, lint roller, sunscreen, garbage bags. I basically never used anything over here besides the fabric softener because like, I mean, how often do you really need that stuff? And now being in a um, communal bathroom, you definitely need your shower caddy and your shoes, okay? You need shower shoes. You need these. I am telling you right now, you need shower shoes because you do not want to put your feet on that moldy ass floor, okay? I just have my lotion, my soap, my shampoo, my hairbrushes, my razor, my mouthwash, my toothbrush, my soap, my toothpaste, my, mo my, um, yeah, my moisturizer, my sunscreen, all of that stuff, all that good stuff. Love it, this is your lifeline right here. Now also, I got my deodorant, my band-aids, my neosporin, my extra stuff, I got contact soap, alcohol swabs, food, laundry stuff, you know, my contacts again, hand sanitizer, and honestly, just keep some snacks on hand because you never know when you're hungry. Now also, they give you these really handy big drawers and small set of drawers. So like I said, my theme is yellow and gray, so I have, oh shoot, I'm washing all my yellow towels right now. But I have yellow towels and gray towels and yellow washcloths. Um, this is where I keep my underwear and pajamas. It fits perfectly. This is where I keep all my socks and ties. Perfect. My pants all fit in here. My sweatshirts all fit in here. This is my miscellaneous drawer. It's really embarrassing. I don't even want to open that shit because that's where I shove everything. And you know, they give us our recycling bins and our trash can that you're responsible for taking out, which I clearly have not taken out in a while, but I gotta do that. And we have our own AC unit. If you're coming to University of Illinois, I highly suggest getting a room with AC. I mean, sometimes it can be hard to get if you have a bad time slot, but definitely a lifeline, lifesaver. It also ruined my relationship with my roommate. That's against the point, but like, I loved it. So, and you know, I got a free room out of it. So yeah, fuck you, bitch. All right, I actually just got my laundry. These are my beautiful yellow towels. I love them. Also, I forgot to mention, guys, laundry here is actually free in dorms. You don't have to pay anything for laundry or dryer, and there's a bunch. There's even an app that tells you which dryers are available and which ones are taken. So take advantage of that. Love it. Also, please, please, please make sure you do your laundry. There are people that I know that go months without doing their laundry, and they smell like absolute shit. So, I mean, I do it every week. You don't have to do it that much, but please do your laundry. It'll make everyone else around you so much happier. If you look over here, we have our beautiful desk. You can put anything you want on the wall. This is from the uh, 
climate strike that I went to. This is someone made of me and my best friend Ratchet. We call each other Ratchet, like I've said. My pride gear is still out, ignore that. Um, it comes with a really big drawer right here. Oh my God, and a lot of storage down here. Oh, everything that's down here, I've gotten for free at barbecues or at like free events that the university hosts like every weekend. So I stock up and you're probably wondering like, oh, why isn't it in the fridge, right? I mean, here's the microwave. Where's the fridge? Yeah, my roommate took that when he left, okay? He took the rug and he took the fridge. So I bought a new rug, but I didn't get a new fridge because I didn't really use it that much. <sighs> to be honest, I've never used my microwave and I never really used the fridge, but I don't really eat snacks or anything in my room. So if you're gonna eat ramen and you're gonna eat like macaroni in your room, then I do suggest it. But for someone like me, I just go to the dining hall. So, hmm? Make sure you're all stocked up on pencils and pens and scissors. These come in handy, like more than you'd actually expect. Cutting off tags, just cutting paper, cutting posters, literally anything, a uh, notepad, my scrapbook. Oh my God, this zoom in mirror is literally goals. Love it. My beautiful MacBook. And yeah, there's plenty of outlets, but I would suggest bringing a power strip, power cord, all that stuff. So here's where all of my messy miscellaneous stuff. But one thing that has been a lifesaver this winter, a space heater. Because especially here, you can't control the heat. It's just like one set temperature that the university does. So when I'm cold, this baby is sitting next to me right here, you know, while I'm doing my homework. Highly suggest. Highly. Now over here, we have this Fashion Week poster that I made because I'm a graphic design major. So I created this, decided to hang it up because I wasted $3.50 on printing it on glossy paper and really big, as you can see. And then I bought this at Bed Bath & Beyond. It's so cute, just reminds me to enjoy life and remember all my friends from back home and family because they're really what means everything to you when it comes down to it. And you don't want to forget your roots or where you came from because eventually you're gonna go home and you can't forget about them because they love you and all of that good stuff. Now, lucky me, I have a perfect view of the ARC, which is the Activities and Recreation Center, which is the workout center. It's really nice, really big. Um, this view is pretty nice because the sun shines in and it's really warm. And also you have adjustable blinds. You can open them, close them, do whatever you want. I think when you open the blinds, the room's like really bright and really big. I really like it. Thank you guys for tuning into my dorm tour here at University of Illinois. If you get room 378 at Snyder, tell me because that is crazy. And you're lucky because you got a good spot. So let me know your guys' thoughts. If you have a beautiful bathroom to yourself in your dorm, I would love to know so I can cry myself to sleep. If you have any college questions, ask me below. Comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff because I would love to answer you back and help you. Remember, communal bathrooms, if you have it, don't be scared, don't be nervous. It's not as bad as you think. Everyone does it every day. So, if you're going to college right now, good luck. I wish you so much luck in your major and your life and everything. And if you're not in college yet, just be prepared. If you're out of college, then thanks for tuning in and watching my experience, I guess. But don't forget the number one rule is to stay ratchet. Bye, guys. Bye.